Hello and welcome back to Ant Holifer. Today we are taking a look at the Myrmica Ruba colony, which I unboxed in Thursday's video. So if you want to see that, there's a link in the top right corner. Right up there. And let's just jump straight into the video. So before we start the video, I made this little tutorial on how to build this formicarium last week. So the first thing I thought I would do is I just make a little kind of a hole for the ants. So when I place the test tube, this would be the first thing they found. And here we have, it's kind of, I think it's five centimeter deep or something. And I just placed the colony into kind of nowhere to put it with the camera. And then I just took the cotton ball off and just dropped them back in. Tried to be as gentle, but it was kind of hard because I was, I'm still kind of scared of these things. I haven't got stung yet, but just look at this. All of these ants have just been waiting so long to get out. I just didn't know what to record because they were already all over the place. They were at the cotton, they were going left. Some of the ants were already down by the airplane and going down into the hole I just made. There were already 10 ants or something down here. I was just so impressed with how fast these ants were just rushing out of this test tube and Already now they were just all over the place Where they were on the right side on the left side of the test of just all over the place And already now it kind of seemed like the ants maybe were starting to dig at this little hole At least there were a lot of ants very interested in the little hole I just didn't know what to record so I just took a little Decided to place my camera here and just take a little time lapse of the ants just rushing out of that test tube. So, as you're seeing, there's a lot of ants just exiting the test tube. Some of them are going back in to kind of spread the news. By now, half of the colony were wandering around. These, this big outworld. I didn't know when they were fed last time, so I gave them a little insect, a bug, to just see how they reacted. Of course they weren't that interested since their colony has just been opened up for the first time since god knows when, but there were, a little, there were some interested. And here we can see an outside view of just how many ants that were all over the place. Seemingly, it kind of looked like they were already starting to dig down in the man-made chamber, but I'm not quite sure that. At least there were a lot of interest, and I'm pretty sure that they're gonna move down there. At least if we look at how many ants that were just down in the hole. So it really seemed like the ants were interested in this hole. At least there was just so much action, and I just didn't know where to see it. There were just so many ants. I've never had a colony this big. I know I just bought it, but still, it's just amazing, there was so much action all over the place. They still weren't that interested in this beetle. It was around, I don't know, five minutes ago since I put it. Uh, but of course they weren't, I mean, again, as I told before, they were in the middle of a moving. So here's a kind of a close up at the nest entrance. It was quite hard for me to see if they were digging or just going up and down. I couldn't really see if they were carrying rocks up, but let me know if you see, any, see anything. I felt like they must have been doing something since so many ants were exiting and entering this hole. And down at the bottom, it seemed like they had gotten a little bit down, but as now as I look at the replay, they hadn't dug anything as far as I can tell. They were just kind of walking up and down, kind of confused. But of course, I mean, they, their, their nest had been ripped right open. So over at the plane side, I started to notice that there were a lot of ants over here. So maybe they were planning something over here, as at least. At least there were a lot of ants going forward and backwards and just a lot of action around this whole plane side. This plane, when I put it down, it had a flat side on the bottom. So I'm kind of curious to see maybe they move below that because ants like having a rock solid surface above them. That's why you often find them under rocks, big rocks in the nature. 
But over at the hole, again, I felt like every time I watched the ants that they were coming deeper down. But as I'm watching this replay now, it doesn't really seem like it. But there was just so much action all over the place. I'm pretty sure that they were fed with flies from Ant Kingdom. At least they took a lot of these flies out right away after I opened the test tube. Here we see the test tube now, it's a bit easier to see in. So this is one of the queens, so I know at least one of the queens is alright. That's also my discovery from the unboxing video. But it kind of looks like there's maybe a queen next to her. Yeah, that's definitely a queen next to her. So this should be a three queen colony, but I can't really see the third queen. Maybe the third queen is the one with the wings and she just haven't dropped them. Some queens never drop them, some queens just keep them for the rest of her life. So that might be the queen, but honestly it's kind of hard to tell. So let me know if you see three, all three queens in one clip through this video. Please let me know in the comments. I haven't seen all three yet, except if the last queen is still winged. And here we can see one of the queens walking a little bit around over looking at the X. And then another queen is up by the cotton wool. It's just so amazing to see. I mean, there were just ants everywhere. And here after around 10 minutes, I decided I would put some red transparent plastic in front of that little hole. So if they were to move down there, it would be a bit more quiet, at least a bit more darkened. Ants can see through red, so it should maybe help with the moving. But then I saw this, an egg or a larvae getting transported and another one and another one in front of that ant. So seemingly three different larvae or maybe eggs were getting transported away. It looked like some of the ants were going over to this plant right here. And then again another ant with a larvae. And where are they taking them? So as far as I can tell, they are taking these eggs up at the plane side. I can't see if they are taking it behind them. Over at the test tube there is now also a prince looking, so I'm positive that this isn't the queen because this prince right here just wandered around for so long. Here he's just kind of taking a look. Inside of the tube there's also another prince who has decided that now is his time to exit the tube. And as you also saw the whole tube was kind of empty already now, so all of the ants were almost out. And this prince didn't quite want to move. Look like he kind of decided that it wasn't safe enough yet. And then I realized inside of the tube all of the eggs were gone and all of the queens were gone. I mean, ca can you see the queens in here guys? I couldn't and I still can't. So I think all three queens have left the tube without me even realizing. It's very hard to see the queen since they are just a little bit larger than the workers so they must have moved in under this plane. Or maybe they just walked under the wing and then out on the other side. Um, I'm, to be honest, I'm just very confused to where they are. Up at the front right corner, I also started to see a lot of action. These workers were coming up and seemingly wandering under the feeding dish. At least there were, there were now coming a big wave of ants, so definitely also some action here. So most of the ants are going down under the feeding dish, so this might be a satellite nest in the making. Maybe the main nest in the making, I just... I'm so confused, I mean all of the eggs just disappeared. This is around 20 minutes after the initial input of the test tube. And this is the chaos from the test tube from above. As you see there's just so many ants all over the place and the whole test tube just almost empty now. I mean, it's 20 minutes since I put them in and all the ants are just all over the place. I don't know where the queen is, I don't know anything. All I know is that I'm completely in love with this new Mimikaruba colony and I just, I can't wait to make another video. They're just so amazing to watch.
So that's been it for this video. Right now I'm still not really sure where they will be housed. They have been kind of all over the place, on the back, on the left, on the front, in the middle, kind of all over the place. They did accept the little beetle a bit later on the day and I have also, since I recorded, decided that it would feed them a lot to kind of nourish them and kind of feel how much they would eat. So in just three days they have just gotten six of these insects that you saw in the video and a spider and some other things and they've just kept taking it. They're so hungry and I'm, I have really high hopes for this colony. It's already uh, really high up on the ranking list because I can just sit there and just watch some action, some ant action. That's what I've been waiting for for so long. So I hope you're just as happy for this video and this colony as I am and I'm sure that they will not disappoint us. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.